All right, fellas, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty quick video. I was literally about to head to bed. It's like 12.30 where I am. And um, I just got finished with a, a business Zoom call. I jumped on X right before I was about to go to bed. And I guess I missed this Rampage Jackson versus Ian Gary beef that just started a couple of days ago. And to be completely honest, I usually watch or listen to most of Ariel's episodes. But man, it's hard to watch the whole thing. It's hard to listen to the whole thing. Like it's four hours long sometimes. I just don't really have that much time throughout the day to check out every little bit of it. I watch the highlights most of the times. But so Rampage goes on there and um, how do I put this? Without being too over the top, and uh, disrespectful. I'm starting to be convinced that Ian Gary is an absolute fucking genius or he is the absolute worst PR person in the history of the universe. Once again, Ian Gary is the topic of discussion coming into a fight week, not necessarily for anything to do with the fight. He's somehow got himself into a beef with a future Hall of Famer, if he's not already a Hall of Famer, Rampage Jackson, who, I've got to be honest, is the funniest UFC fighter to ever live. I could play you right now a 10-minute funniest Quentin Rampage Jackson moments, but as I said, I want I want this to be a quick video so I can get to bed. Black girls love me too, man. I get hit on by black girls all the time. I'd be like, oh, I'll be showing, I'll be showing my nipple, I'll be doing my nipple dance. Black girls love me, man. I love them black girls back too, man. I'd be loving me some black women. Thank you, Rampage. Mm -hmm. I want a motorboat right <laughs> Just Google Rampage Jackson funniest moments. Now, Ian Gary is, I believe, 25 years old. He might be 26, something like that. So I don't even know if Ian Gary is aware of Rampage's history. Like, this guy is legit a troll. He's been a troll his whole life. And you can be a troll when you're light heavyweight champion of the world. Rampage Jackson is the last person you want to go back and forth with, whether it's in a serious heated argument or messing around with each other, like busting each other's balls. Like this guy will can get you every time. Thankfully, somebody on Twitter basically put the whole thing side by side. Rampage jumps on Ariel's uh, MMA hour and they talk about a lot of stuff and they talk about Rampage's recent podcast that he uh, launched just uh, not long ago. He's doing it pretty well. It's growing. I like it. I enjoy it. I think the guests he have on are pretty interesting. And Rampage always has funny questions, man. Like, he's the best. He's the best. It reminds me a little bit of Mike Tyson's podcast, except Rampage is more, like, quick with it. Like, he's just a funny dude. But so Rampage says, uh, you know what? F it. Let's just play it. I'm going to play this. This might get copyright striked, it might get shut down. I'm just gonna use this as an experiment. I'm gonna play this and comment as we go. We already had somebody um, decline because they said I was gonna make fun of them, but I, I haven't been really making fun of them. Who was it? Who was the sensitive Sally? Ariel says, who is this sensitive Sally, which is hilarious because like Ariel admits himself, he's extremely sensitive. That's kind of ironic. Um. Honestly, I can't. I can't remember his name. Uh, right, they, they but I think it was that. I think it was that guy that. What's his name? Ian. I think he's come. I think they finally got him on. He didn't want to come at first. What's his name? Ian the Cock. Rampage knows full well Ian Gary's name. If he knows him as Ian the Cock, he knows that it's Ian Gary. He knows he was talking about. I don't know. Ian McCall. Ian with the wife that. Ah, oh, come on. What's, Ian Gary. What's his name? Oh, Ian Gary. See that reaction right there when he when he's like, "Oh, Ian Gary, man, he's joking. He knows he, he knows exactly who he's talking about. This is Rampage 101." What? <laughs> I'm not going to make fun of him. Yeah. <laughs> and then he acts like, "What? what you, like I, I was never going to make fun of him." And he tries to be like all serious and play it off like he wasn't just absolutely taking the piss out of this dude. Is that true though? His wife got a boyfriend in with No. Him? No, that is not true. That's rumor too. I don't know. I listen. I don't probably. I don't like to ask people about their personal lives. Okay, I leave that. I leave. <laughs> okay, now let's have a look at Ian Gary's response. I think it was a few hours later after he saw the episode. Obviously, 
Quentin Rampage Jackson went on Ariel last night and spoke about how I turned down his podcast because I was afraid of being made fun of. I've got the on Monday of Fight Week. I've got him in like four days. I'm on his podcasts. He's saying, Rampage, you're full of shit. You're lying. Like I'm supposed to be doing your podcast on Monday. And he goes on, he calls me a cook and he's uh, Ian the cook. He didn't even know my name. And he's like asking Ariel, does his wife really have a boyfriend? No, you tick. No, because you're believing absolute bollocks and lies from other people. Imagine running a podcast and not knowing who your next guest was. Imagine being that fucking stupid and then going on the Ariel and speaking about it. Okay, so he says, imagine running a podcast and not knowing who your next guest was. So in Ian Gary's mind, and look, I guess this is possible. Ian Gary believes that Rampage just went on Ariel's show, made fun of Ian Gary, made up a story that uh, Ian Gary declined to be on the show because he was making fun of him and didn't realize that Ian Gary was actually really scheduled to go on Monday and Rampage just like forgot, didn't have a clue who Ian Gary was or what his name was and fucked up. Well, I can tell you one thing. Yeah, definitely not having me on now because you're a fucking idiot and chatting mad shit. Good luck, take care. I wish you nothing but fucking gall. Ian Gary, mate, either two things are happening here. Rampage is telling the truth and Ian Gary did decline to go on his podcast because I'm sure, I haven't seen any clips, but I'm sure Rampage would have been taking the piss out of Ian Gary. Or Rampage just doesn't really care to have Ian Gary on his podcast. It seems to be like this just ongoing thing where people say shit about Ian Gary and Ian Gary straight away comes out and denies it and says, mate, everybody's full of shit. All this stuff you say about me is not true. I was scheduled to go on the show on Monday. Ian, Gary, I'm telling you right now, Rampage knows who you are. He was pretending he didn't know who you were as a joke. He was making fun of you, man. And he was either making fun of you on Ariel's show because it's true. You did knock him back for an interview. He probably thinks it's hilarious. Everything that's like come out about you. He's taking the piss out of you, bro. He knows who you are. And look, after everything, all the text messages, everything back and forth we've seen from Ian Gary and his missus, is it really out of the realm of possibility that Ian Gary did decline to go on Rampage's podcast? That doesn't sound too crazy to me. So Ian, Gary, dude, I don't know, man. You either just love taking L's outside of the cage and looking like an absolute idiot. I know this is harsh, but Ian Gary, man, like you either are the worst at PR if you're trying to look like a cool, down to earth, good dude, whatever, a likable guy, or you are literally the smartest public relations person I have ever seen because yet again, you've managed to get yourself in the headlines for doing absolutely fuck all. I'm off to bed guys, thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content.